Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks, and today I'll be showing you how I created this character in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so hopping into Illustrator, I always start out with my color palette over here on the right side. That just makes it easier. I can use the eyedropper tool to switch out colors over here. This is the character that we're gonna be designing today. I have it grouped together here, so I'm just gonna slide it over to the left and we'll recreate the character over here on the right side. This way we can walk through the steps while you can see the final product as we're making it over here on the right side. So, first step I always take is creating the head. So we're gonna grab the ellipse tool, shortcut L on the keyboard. You're gonna hold down option, drag it out and make a circle. You can resize it using the option key. Next I'll make the ear, so it's another circle. Copy and paste that same circle in the same spot and we can bring it down. Next I'll highlight all of that, rotate it 45 degrees. And then what I do is I'll add a point right here, delete that, select the smaller circle and delete this point right here. Then I'll grab the pencil tool, it's N, it's the shortcut on your keyboard, and draw a little line like that. Um, and then after that, I'll add one more circle, which is gonna be kind of like the little shadow behind the ear. Um, so we're gonna get rid of the stroke on this one and make it just a little bit darker of a blue. And then after that, we'll need to remove the fill on these two. So now we have the ear. So select all that, Command G to group it together, and you can drag it over on top of the head, right about there. And then for the other ear, we're gonna option, drag, go up to object, transform, reflect, vertical. And then we're gonna hit command shift and the left bracket. Or if you don't wanna do the shortcut, I think it is arrange, send to back. And your shortcut will show right here, whether you're on Mac or desktop. All right, so we have our ears all finished up. I'm gonna to try to copy it to the original as much as I can. It looks like it's pretty good. All right, next we'll do the sunglasses. So that's again, another circle. So we'll grab the eyedropper tool, get a yellow. Make another circle right there. Copy and paste in place again. Make that smaller and then eyedropper tool. Use the background, white color. Um, and then next we will divide, basically divide this smaller circle in half. So grab the rectangle tool, that is M on your keyboard shortcut and drag over the top half of the eyeball. And then what you're gonna do is copy and paste another circle on top, select both of those, and then over in your Pathfinder tool, hit that one right there, the intersect tool. So now you have that eyelid, you can use your eyedropper tool and make the eyelid blue. So one more time we're gonna do, grab this circle here again, copy, paste in place again, and bring that down, and this will be our black of the eye, or the pupil. We can send that backwards with command left bracket. Again, that will be up here, arrange, send backward. We didn't want to send all the way to back this time. We just wanted to move it behind the eyelid. So send backward this time. Oh, I didn't want to do it again. Bring it back up there. And then you can drag it over a little bit. I think that needs to be a little bit smaller. So we'll shrink that down a little bit. The last step for the eyeglasses is the side of the glasses. So we're gonna grab this yellow part of the glasses option, drag it to the left, and then we'll send that backward. And then we'll just give it a little bit of a darker yellow tint. 
All right, that's it for the glasses. We could add this little highlight there too, I guess. That's just a quick little stroke with the pencil tool. And we're gonna grab the white color. Give the stroke the same white. All right, there we go. So now we have the eyeglasses and we can just select all of these. Command G, group them together and drag it to your left. Grab both of them, drag them back over. Looks about right. Maybe make them a little bit smaller. Solid. You can run with that. All right, and then next we'll do, let's do the eyebrows next since we're here in the face. That's just a simple shape with the pencil tool. So we'll grab the pencil tool. Shortcut for pencil tool is N. Um, let's grab yellow and we'll just kind of draw it out. Let me see what it looks like. Do like that, that, that. And you can go right over the top of it because what we're gonna do is just send it to back. So again, command left bracket and that'll send it behind the eyeglasses. You don't wanna send it all the way to back because it'll disappear like that. So we wanna bring it back to the top. Just one time command left bracket and then that'll send it behind the eyeglasses. Drag that over, option drag, transform, reflect, send it behind. You gotta hit it a couple times over here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's shrink them down a little bit. I think they're a little bit smaller than the original design. All right, let's go with that. All right, so next we'll do the mustache. And what you can do if you're not happy with the shape, just come in here, zoom in real close, hit A. It's the direct select tool and you can adjust the points to make it a little bit more exact. All right, that's pretty good. And then what I do from there to give it a little bit of depth is add these little lines here. They're actually separate from the actual shape, but it makes it look like there's overlapping shapes. So we'll go in here and just add little quick lines like that using the pen tool. You can zoom way in there. And one more little line here. Solid, and let's group all of those together. Command G. All right, that looks good. Okay, so for the shape of the head, I'll, even though we started with a circle, sometimes I like to play with uh, the points just to give it a little bit of a different shape. So we'll grab the direct select tool, which is A on your keyboard, drag it up, give them a little bit of a different shape to the head so it's not just a circle. So for the hair, we're just gonna draw a shape like this over the top portion of the head. Select the head shape, Command C, paste in place, and select this shape along with it. And again, intersect Pathfinder tool. And then what we'll do is just grab the yellow from right there. Um, I have to add this little crease right here, so that's just a matter of adding a couple points here, 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 direct select tool, bring that up. And then if you want to get rid of this little curve here, you can grab the pen tool, hold option, and then click that, and you can bring these in too. So it's just straight lines. Give them a little part right there. That looks good. And the ponytail is actually just 
circles. So we'll, gr we'll grab the circle tool again, which is L, do like that. Grab the red and then drag a smaller one up, resize it, send it behind. group those together and then for this we can do send to back because that's going behind everything works for me and then we'll do this last little ponytail here so grab our yellow Send that to the back. All right, we can resize that. All right, that looks good to me. Um, next, we can add the lines to the hair. So that's just a pretty quick pencil tool. Grab that, curve it out, add some more up here. Sometimes the uh, Smart guides get in the way, so you can turn those off with Command Shift U. And we also want to, these don't need any fill, so we'll get rid of the fill on those. All right, cool, that works. I'm speeding through this a little bit just so we can show you the steps, but you get the idea. We'll add this little side burn over here. Um, we're going to use the same color as the shadow in the ear, so we can select that and for this we'll actually, it's a little bit tricky because we want this to be behind the stroke. So what we're going to do is draw out the shape where you want it. So we're going to go like that, bring it down and you can go right on top of the stroke here. And I'll show you how we can fix that. So select this shape that you just drew, copy it, and you can delete it. And then what we'll do is double click on the head and then paste in place. Select the head again, copy, paste in place, and then get rid of the fill. And now we have the outline just on top. So it's kind of covering up the, the shadow of the sideburn. So group those together, come back out and there you go. That works for me. Okay, let's do the earring next. We'll grab the yellow, just make a simple circle, copy, paste in place, oops. Copy, paste in place, shrink it down about right there. Select both, and this time we're going to use the minus front in the Pathfinder. All right, and bring it right up to the ear. And what I do is just use the eraser tool and kind of curve it out like that. And then we can curve this one too. Delete that. And then you can adjust this so it's perfect right on there. All right, and then we'll add just a little line here. We can add a shadow, make that black, add one more shadow over here. Perfect, let's group all those together. I like grouping everything together because then you can just move stuff around as you need. Like that. All right, cool. All right, that's the head. Um, we can get going on the body now. So for the neck, what I usually start off with is just, again, another circle. Go like that, make it blue, send it to back. All right, and once, 
once you have the circle, you're gonna grab this little point here, drag it over, and what we did before, option, grab their pen tool and option click, that gives it a little point. And we can do the collar, so we have white, by just selecting that and then grabbing your pencil tool, you can draw it out like this. Oops. Send that to back. Same thing on this side. Send to back. That's the collar. Um, we can get the little shadow right here. eyedropper tool, make it black. And the next step I did was created the, this little yellow hoodie underneath. So that's just, again, just drawing it out with the pencil tool. All right, and we can make that yellow. little adjustments too if it's not the exact shape that you want try to have the least amount of points as possible because then you can make adjustments a little bit easier so just add have one point over here and then what we'll do is just give this a little line to give it that little fold over look that we get here and then for this point here we're gonna select just this point with the direct select tool, which is A on your keyboard, and just curve it out using that little point right there. And we can send that to back. Next, we'll do the red coat. back we're going to curve these out just a little bit like that you know at this point actually it needs to come out further so we'll go like that recurve these fix this one up all right now we'll do the sleeve so bring it down like this wrinkle wrinkle and we can bring this all the way up and send it back give this a little bit of detail Boom, that looks good. And then what I also have is this kind of dark shadow at the back of the hood. So that's just another shape like that. Send that to back and make it yellow. We can, use, we can actually use the same dark yellow as the side of the glasses. So that works like that. And then, so what we're gonna do next is select all of these shapes that we just did and group them together just drag it around to see if you got everything selected command G and now we can just drag it to the other side and object transform reflect there we go and I actually adjusted the pockets. As you can see, like this one looks different than this one. So we can just go down here, grab direct select tool, move your points around a little bit, just to give it a little variation. All right, and now we will do the sh inside shirt, which is straight line down here. Point, point, bring it up top, 
basically making a rectangle. Send that to the back. Can't really tell because it's the same color as the background, but it's there. And we'll add the other side of the shirt here. Another rectangle. Send the back. Buttons are straight yellow circles. So hit L. option drag finish it off with a little line here nice all right let's bring this up just a little bit and this is what I like about using shapes and fills instead of doing the outline first and then coloring it in. When you use shapes like this, it's much easier to make adjustments. So if you have a straight outline, it's gonna be a lot harder to make these adjustments. All right, for the legs, they're just green rectangles. So we're just gonna drag it out like that. Select that color, draw the sock on top of that. For this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna double click into here and create the sock like this just gives you a better view of what you're working with bring the sock down and that's gonna be white obviously and then we're gonna draw some squiggly lines for the socks and now we can just select all of this command G group it together and there we go. Okay, and we can option drag this over and object, transform, reflect. Okay. That works for me. We'll add the shadows in as well. Cool. All right, last thing is the shoes. So we're just gonna draw it over here do the toe make a few adjustments you can actually delete these points so with the pen tool selected if you hover over a point you'll see this little minus come up that'll delete the point for you hold command while you have the pen tool selected and you can drag and then option you can adjust the anchor. So now we can make it a little bit more round, which is the effect that we wanna go for. The shoes are a little bit trickier, so you gotta take your time on them and make sure they're just right. All right, so after you have that base shape, you're gonna make the sole of the shoe. Ugh make the sole of the shoe come up just a little bit behind there send that behind for the strings you just give it a little bit of a shape like that bring it down like that in order to cover up the strings I like to Select the main first shape that we created for the shoe and copy and paste it on top. And then we can just get rid of all these other points. So it's just this shape right here, just the toe of the shoe and it covers up the strings. So then we can adjust this a little bit like that. And we'll do the tongue next, pen tool. Send it back behind the strings, and then you can double click in here and option drag that over, send that backwards, group those together. So now our tongue has a little bit of depth to it. All right, and now for the details, we're just gonna draw them out on top of the shape, and then we'll use the Pathfinder tool to crop it out. So select the back shape, 
paste in place, select both, and then we'll use the intersect tool once again. We have that shape. For this little triangle, we'll just draw it out without the pathfinder. So we can just do like that, like that. Make it red. Same thing over here. Copy, paste, intersect, make it red, and we can send it back. Let's bring this up just a little bit. Um, for this line, I think they're just, they're just lines, they're not shapes. So what we can do is get rid of the fill and just drag it out like this. And then we'll use the pencil tool for this shape. Red rectangle for the tongue of the shoe. All right, it's pretty solid. Select everything, Command G, group them together. And now we can drag it over in place and shrink it down a little bit. send it all the way oh so we have a slight problem I made the coat too long what we can do is select both of these and just kind of size them up like this all right so now we got the shoe in place drag it over this way option transform reflect okay a little bit of overlap but I don't mind that actually and this is the last step. We're just gonna do the shadow underneath. Make that black, send to back. And that's pretty much it. We can add the little tattoo up top. Reduce the stroke because it's such a small number. I think we had three point stroke on there. Rotate that. Okay, and that's it. We can select everything, group it together, do a little comparison. And I would love to see your guys' final products if you guys decide to follow along and create this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button down below, and I'll see you next time.